Hey everybody, it's Joe Askins from YoChicago.com. I'm standing in the middle of Adam Sangamon Park, which is now open. Uh, the city's actually going to be celebrating the grand opening of this park on Saturday. I'll be busy on Saturday, so I wouldn't be able to make it out here, but uh, it is open, so I figured I might as well drive out here on a Thursday afternoon and check it out. As you can see, people are already taking advantage of the park. Quite a few dogs over in the dog park area on the western side of the park. They seem to be having fun. Uh, when I came out here while this was still under construction, uh, I had mentioned that the dog park was, was paved. It was concrete instead of, say, a, uh, a gravel surface, which you would think might be a, a little more preferable, uh, given the fact that the dogs are going to be going to the bathroom and things like that. Uh, the dog park over at Erie Park near our office is, uh, is gravel. But I would bet that this concrete's probably pretty easy to maintain. Uh, it's probably easier to keep clean. You're not having to truck gravel in and out all the time. Uh, it's not going to weather the same way uh, in rain or snow that, uh, that a gravel park would. And I don't think that the dogs mind it too much. So, uh, so it's all right. You can only access, access it through, um, uh, from the sidewalk over on the west side. You can't actually get, to, get inside it from inside the park from where I am. So you have to kind of walk around. And given the fact that most of the park is actually fenced in, um, that can be a little bit of a hassle. You kind of have to walk the long way around, but I assume most of these people are going to be coming from uh, the sidewalk and probably aren't going to be entering the park at all. Uh, they're coming here specifically for the dog park. Anyway, um, over here on the northwestern side of the street, you can see uh, what is sort of, is probably going to be considered the grand entryway of this park. It's uh, these five uh, sort of squared off gateways and you can see that they're pumping out a very fine mist and it is very fine It doesn't really feel moist at all. Uh, it doesn't feel like there's a mist on your face when you walk through it It's more like walking through fog uh, But it's kind of interesting and it creates an interesting effect I don't know if you can hear it if the microphone's picking it up, but there is just sort of this steady hiss uh, sort of in the mid-ground is um, you can see a lot of cattails and some uh, appear to be some various types of small wildflowers. Also over on the southwestern side of the park, you can see more of those. Over on the southwestern side of the park, you can see the, the sort of like rusted metal pan paneling uh, and almost makes it look like uh, they created some sort of big metal planter for this landscaping. Actually, they brought in a lot of infill and created hills. Uh, if you looked at those from the other from the other side, from the street, it would be sort of a like slow slope all the way up. And uh, then what they did is they sort of squared those off with the panels to create these uh, walled walkways that you can uh, walk past. And there are actually some, you can't see them, but there are actually some on uh, the other side of this landscaping between uh, between the landscaping and the archways in the distance. Over to the east, you can see the new playground. The playground, like the rest of the park, uh, is kind of a series of these elevated terraces or hills uh, and then kind of sloping walkways that move in, in the playgrounds case moved down to below street level probably a good four feet below street level in the case of, uh, of the uh, playground all the playground equipment's in looks nice and new uh, the surface is that typical uh, pl uh, the play lot surface that you see at a lot of parks these days um, it's not too squishy but it is uh, kind of soft and some sort of composite type of rubber or something I'm standing on a hill right now that runs from the southeast corner kind of diagonally into the center of the park. Uh, there's another hill that is runs kind of from the northeast corner to north center side of the park. These are, oh, probably a good eight feet above uh, street or sidewalk level. There's street lamps, so this will be lit at night. 
I mentioned before that uh, a good part of the park is fenced in. Uh, looks like probably the yeah, majority of the eastern side. About half of the western side. It looks like just about all of the northern side are all fenced. So you can only enter from the corners. And then down here uh, on the western side, kind of the west central part uh, uh, is where the, the, the fence drops off and then you can walk in there. I think that there's fencing all around the landscaped area. So again, you can only enter from this area over here near the corner on the southwest side and then from the southeast side.